Welcome to Friday here at the Owatonna Today Show. So glad to have you along. My name is Betty Johnson, your host. It is the 12th of July, and as we do every Friday, we want to thank our terrific supporters that make this show possible. Starting with our premier supporters, they include the City of Owatonna, along with Express Employment Professionals, Owatonna Public Utilities, Safe and Drug-Free Coalition of Steele County, and the United Way of Steele County. Our primary supporters are Amy Swain Hearing Centers, Coda Living Communities, and Park Place Senior Living, along with the Little Theater of Owatonna. And our interlude supporters are Abraham Consulting Technologies, Brenda Bednar Mortgage, Glenn Megger and Tim Thomas of the Brick Megger Funeral Home and the Medford Funeral Home, Brookdale Senior Living, Sterling House, and Claire Bridge of Owatonna, Carlson Branson and Company CPAs, ERA Gillespie Real Estate, Fairview Animal Medical Center, Horizon Eye Care Professionals. Some more of our interlude supporters include Clancher & Sons Landscaping and Concrete, Napa Auto Service, Owatonna Business Incubator, Pizza Ranch of Owatonna, Perfinium Financial, r &K Electric, along with Snap Fitness, the Steel County Historical Society, the Third Hand Incorporated Video Productions, and TPS Insurance. And as always, we're looking for more supporters of the show. And if you're a business and you'd like more information about how to become an underwriter, you can contact Leanne at 390-5751. Or if you're a viewer and you want to continue to keep the show on the air and help support us, all you can do is mail a contribution to Owatonna Today at 1130 North Elm, Owatonna. We do thank you for joining us. We've got a very interesting show coming up today. We're going to have a couple of videos. Now, a lot of you are probably very familiar with the Owatonna Foundation, but you may not know as many things as they would probably like you to know. We do have a wonderful video about the Owatonna Foundation. And then we're going to go to the Mackinac Islands and uh, take a look at the island on their side of Michigan. A wonderful time of year to visit there. And we're going to be visiting via video. So if you can't make it, this is the next best thing. And we're going to be doing that right after this. So stay with us. Hi, I'm Jody Voison with the staff at Fairview Animal Medical Center, your other family doctor. Fairview Animal Medical Center is a proud supporter of the Oatana Today Show. Recreational fires are allowed within the Oatana city limits. They must be contained within a fire pit or a device designed for such use and can be three feet in diameter and no more than three feet high. They must be 25 feet from a building or combustibles. Only untreated or unpainted woods must be used. Fires must be attended by a person at all times that are capable of extinguishing the fire. This has been a safety tip from the Oatana Fire Department. Hi, we're Mark and Becky Stevens of the Oatana Pizza Ranch. And we support the Oatana Today Show. No question uh, that uh, over the years since the Owatonna Foundation was founded, Owatonna has become a better place to live and raise a family. When I think about the Owatonna Foundation and what it's done for the future, I think about positive change. important that the Owatonna Foundation continue in the active role that it has. Every dollar that they give to the Owatonna Foundation goes into this great community of Owatonna. Uh, that's the reason that we exist.
Owatonna Foundation has impacted our family's life by all the wonderful things that they have provided our community with. Um, the River Springs Water Park, the Band Shell down at Central Park, the beautiful um, trail system that we have here in Owatonna. And by being a part of the foundation, it has allowed us to give back to our community and we have found that to be very rewarding. I don't think there's a brick and mortar project in Owatonna that hasn't gone to the Owatonna Foundation to look for assistance. And every one of those that they approve uh, brings value to our community. Being in city government, I understand that uh, there's a lot of things that we cannot finance alone. And without the foundation's assistance, uh, the trails on the north end of town would have been very difficult to put to bridges there. They've donated over $500,000 to that project, which means that uh, all people in Owatonna can use that. It's a very, very great asset to our community. I find that in working with people when they're considering our community or another community, whatever it is, they're always impressed with what I have to share with them and what the Owatonna Foundation has contributed. And there are so many things. It's not just one factor that is pivotal in their decision, I don't think. I think they just have so many factors that impress them and they lean our direction in great part based upon the foundation. I think about the quality of life that we have here, our community assets. Um, when we're talking about community assets in Owatonna, we're talking about things that enhance where we live, where we work, where we play, where we visit. Examples of that would be like our soccer complex, improvements that we made out there, um, our food shelf, uh, the programming behind our little theater, um, our community aquatic center. There have been financial challenges and that's why we we really need to have the support of those in the community. We don't have the local industry and the business that we used to have. Many of those businesses are, are owned by entities outside of the community or even in other countries. And so, unlike the founders of the Oatana Foundation, who were all uh, in this community, and all residents of the community, all raising their families in Oatana, uh, there are not sometimes that association anymore with the community of Owatonna. In, in today's competitive world, it's, it's very important that we continue to draw in new businesses and citizens, and the Owatonna Foundation provides us with the opportunity to add the amenities um, that most smaller cities don't have. The best endorsement that I can give for the Oatana Foundation is the level of responsibility and the care that the trustees have taken with donations over many, many years. And the results of the Foundation's work is something that we all see every day as we live and work in the Oatana community. The foundation's done something very nice for Oatana that not all communities have and that's to preserve the heritage of the community. Um, tax dollars won't do it alone. You know, government can do what it does best, churches can do what they do best, but when you have bricks and mortar and people that really care and invest in um, a community, that's what a foundation does. The foundation has been in existence for many, many years. Um, the evidence of their work is, is really all around the community. You know, it takes um, a village really takes all of us to really build a community and that's what um, we have here in Owatonna.
The Oatana Foundation definitely is an essential need in our community. It's an absolute must. To me, the foundation really provides a sense of permanence for the community. Um, when I travel around the community on my daily errands or to and from work, um, and I see all the projects that the foundation was a part of, um, I know that those projects are here today and they will be here tomorrow and for many years to come. Founded in 1958. Over 11 million dollars. Preserving the past. Building the present. Funding the future. Making a difference. Every single dollar that is given to the Owatonna Foundation goes back into this community. Supporting community progress. Supporting community progress. The Owatonna Foundation is your community foundation. Hi, this is Dave Efforts with TPS Insurance, and we are proud supporters of the Oatana Today Show. I didn't just want another job. I wanted a career, so I expressed myself. I was new to town, and I didn't know where to turn for a job, so I decided to express myself. I decided to express myself, and they helped find the right career for me. Express Employment Professionals is in contact with thousands of companies in need of quality employees. Come in now and get the job you deserve. Express yourself today. Coto Living Community and Park Place Senior Living are Oatana's premier living communities for seniors. Coda Living Community, located on the Oatana Hospital and Mayo Clinic campus, provides short-term, long-term, and rehabilitative care. It features private and semi-private rooms, ceiling lifts, and spa. Coda Living Community continues the tradition of providing quality care to area residents. Park Place Senior Living is expanding into the Cedarview Care Center to offer enhanced assisted living. For more information, please call 507-446-4946. Hi, I'm Doug Johnson with the Otana Business Incubator. We're here to help small businesses start and to grow. We're a proud sponsor of the Otana Today Show. Hi, I'm Ron Clancher with Clancher and Sun Landscaping and Concrete. We support the Otana Today Show and so should you. Welcome to the Oatana Today Show. It's summertime, a great time to take a road trip. And as a suggestion, I'm going to take you on a road trip that my husband and I just did a couple of weeks ago to Mackinac Island in Michigan. And we drove across the state of Wisconsin. And we entered Michigan right here at Menominee, drove along in the upper peninsula of Michigan, all the way around here very scenic drive. You can see a lot of a lot of Lake Michigan. And we ended up in St. Ignace, Michigan. From there we took the ferry to Mackinac Island. And now I'm going to show you some of the highlights of our trip to Mackinac Island. It's early in the morning here on 
St. Ignis, Michigan, on beautiful Lake Huron. We're on our way over to Mackinac Island to spend part of the day there. And I'm giving you a look at the slow panoramic view of the harbor. We're taking Starline ferry service over there. And we'll see what there is to see on Mackinac Island. You're looking at the Mackinac Bridge. Stands between the Upper Peninsula and Lower Peninsula of Michigan. We'll be riding on that bridge later on. Quite a suspension bridge, isn't it? in the morning and this is the main street on Mackinac Island the main commercial district not a lot of activity right now I'm standing in the middle of the street the interesting thing about Mackinac Island is that no cars are allowed people get um, around by walking biking and then they have um, horse-drawn carriages the thing that you really have to watch out for are the bikes. The bikes are everywhere and people are zooming around like crazy. We're on Market Street on Mackinac Island and the island itself was actually discovered if you want to say that by a Jesuit priest in 1670 and then the British in 1781 made it a center of their military and fur, fur trade activity. So there's a tremendous amount of history here on the island and it's a lot of fun to walk up and down the streets and just look at the architecture, read the signs, and get kind of a feel for the history of this marvelous island. I said earlier, transportation on the island is by foot, by bike, or by horse-drawn carriage. Even the delivery trucks and the, and the work trucks are actually workhorses, <laughs> uh, buggies and, um, and, and uh, work wagons. Here's a cute little carriage. This one is probably from the Grand Hotel. Seats fewer people, has a little Surrey fringe on it. So that's how you get around Mackinac Island. Here's the service wagon for Mackinac, Mackinac Island. This is the porch of the Grand Hotel. The longest porch on Mackinac Island for sure. Goes on forever. This shot gives you a better idea of the whole length of the porch of the Grand Hotel. And the view is spectacular. You turn around and you look over the lake. And then way in the distance is the Mackinac Bridge. We're inside the Grand Hotel here on Mackinac Island. And this is the area right before you go into the main dining room. You really need to come and walk through the hotel and see it when you come here to the island. And when you're done having lunch at the Grand Hotel, you can take in a game of croquet or bocce ball. 
on their beautiful green lawn. We're yes. taking the approach, we're going on the Mackinac Bridge. It spans the strait between Lake Michigan and Lake Huron. And here we go underneath the first structure. wires on the right and left. Pretty cool. And we've almost made it through all the way to the other side, to the lower peninsula of Michigan. Great view. Thanks so much for joining us on our trip to Mackinac Island in Michigan. It was a wonderful trip. The countryside is beautiful and it would be well worth your time to take four or five days off. It's really not that far away. And see what Michigan has to offer. Thanks for joining us at Mackinac Island on the Owatonna Today Show. Hi, Warren Abraham, Abraham Consulting Technologies, your one-stop technology shop. We support the Otana Today Show. Hello, I'm Sean McNulty. And I'm Deb Gillard with Brookdale Senior Living, Sterling House, and Claire Bridge of Owatonna. And we are a proud sponsor of the Owatonna Today Show. We are back. We hope you enjoyed those videos. I know I'm certainly ready to get up and go to Mackinac Island as soon as I can. It looks beautiful out there. And uh, um, hopefully I'll get a chance to. don't want to say that the video is probably as close as I'll get, but we want to thank Leanne for taking that gorgeous video. Do want to mention... Uh, we didn't get a chance at the top of the show. 
to remind you of the hot looks for a cure calendar that you can win. All you need to do is like us on Facebook and then your name will automatically be entered into the drawing and next Monday we're going to be announcing the first winner of the hot looks for a cure. Again, it's a 14 month calendar for uh, financial aid for a cure for cancer. Some of our announcements coming on, going on around this weekend, coming up tonight. The Parents' Night Out is sponsoring the movie in the park, and it's The Zookeeper. It's a fun movie for the whole family at 9 p.m. And as always, they do have activities at about 8.30 for the kids. So bring out your chairs, your blankets, there'll be refreshments as well. And then tomorrow, there's geocaching at Kaplan's Woods from 3 until 5. And on Sunday, there's a discount admission at the River Spring Water Park from 12 p.m. to 8 p.m., $2 admission for anyone. Also on Saturday, July 13th, the Steel County Humane Society, in conjunction with Kindest Cut, will be offering low-cost low spay and neuter services for companion adults, animals, and free-roaming community outdoor cats. So uh, if you'd like more information, they ask you not to call the Humane Society. Instead, you can contact Kindest Cuts at 763 Four eight nine seven seven two nine. That number again is seven six three four eight nine seventy seven twenty nine. And don't forget, coming up this weekend is the Big Steel County Historical Extravaganza. On the Sunday is when they have everything going on in the village of yesteryear. There's going to be reenactments, music, food, fun, uh, vintage baseball, antique tractor show. There will also be local artisans in the new history center. So you want to check that out. It's fun for the whole family. Again, that's coming up this Sunday. Also, the Owatonna Community Blood Drive is set for Wednesday, July 17th from noon until 6, Thursday the 18th, noon until 6, and Friday the 19th from 8 a.m. until 1 p.m. It's going to be located at St. Joseph's Church. Appointments can be made online at redcrossblood.org. As always, though, uh, walk-ins are welcome. Again, that's coming up this Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, noon to 6, and then 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. on Friday. And that is going to be our show for this Friday. We thank you for joining us. Hope you have a good weekend and come back here on Monday when we're going to be talking, oh, things like Hospice House and Secret Garden Tour. Also, uh, Pet Adoption Day, we're going to be uh, getting an update from OPU and talking about the Festival of Arts. It is in July, and that's uh, when that happens, too. So come back next week. In the meantime, have a good weekend. For Leanne Alt, I'm Betty Johnson, and this has been the Owatonna Today Show.